All right, so let's talk about these types of problems. Problem number three will be a trust problem. Let's talk about trust problems. It might be method of joints. It might be method of sections. Be ready for either of them. Um, both of them, the, the probably what you're going to want to start with is looking at the whole free body diagram and solving for you know anything that you can or anything that you know you're going to use, right? You probably you may not have to solve for everything if you know you're going to throw it away, you know, or maybe may method of joints. If, if you know you're going to start over here at joint G, then maybe you don't need A X and A Y. So, but a good process is. And it's because the whole structure is in equilibrium. It should, it's not moving left, right. It's not moving up, down. It's not rotating. So the sum of all the forces should still equal zero in the X. Sum of all the forces in the Y should equal zero. And some of the moments about any point should equal zero. All right, so both methods, you should look at the whole free body diagram. In the method of sections, you cut it, you draw, you expose the members that you're cut through. And I like to guess tension. I like to guess them pulling um, and then <clears throat> and then I can sum the forces in X, sum the force in Y, and sum the moments about any point for that section. Method of joints, what do we do? We, we look at a joint. So maybe I would start here with joint G and I would say, okay, I've got 13.5 right there. I've got two right here. And then I don't know the force in G, H, and I don't know the force in F, G, but I have two equations for every single joint because that joint is in equilibrium. All right, that's method of joints. The whole truss is in equilibrium and every joint is in equilibrium because that point, point G, it's not moving left to right. It's not moving up down. So the sum of the forces at point G, that point G is feeling, uh, should equal zero. I guess tension, notice that it was pulling at the joint. This is a free body diagram of this joint right here. And so the it is pulling at the joint. What happens, I, I'm probably going to come up with this to be zero, uh, sorry, this to be negative. If FGH is negative something, then I know that it was in compression right there, right? I'm, then I know that it was in compression. I like to guess tension. If it comes out negative, then I know it was in compression. And then you jump to another joint. So what, what, when I jump from joint G to joint H, and maybe I don't need to jump to joint, yeah, I think joint, jump to joint H would be my next step. If I know that GH is in compression here, then when I go to joint H, um, all right, and I've got the four right here. I've got the force FH that I don't know. I've got the force IH that I don't know. Notice I, I drew those both those in tension. Then I know this one. I take whatever I've solved for. I know it's in compression right here. Do you see that it is in compression that way, right? This is a free body diagram of the joint, and the joint feels it in compression. It is pushing at that joint. So even though it is down and to the right for joint G, it's up and to the left for joint H, kind of like you know equal and opposite reactions. But just think, um, it is, it, it's in compression. It is in compression. Joint G feels it in compression. Joint A feels it in compression. Um, and these are, we're looking at free body diagrams of joints if we're doing method of joints. So method of joints, you look at joint G, then hop to joint H, then hop to joint F, then hop to joint you know, I, then a hop to whatever joints you need to do to go to answer you know, the, the, the question that the problem statement is asking for. In general, you, we use method of sections for longer, bigger um, trusses when we want to know kind of some of the middle members we use method of joints if we've got smaller sections, or if, if we're just kind of concerned with one of the members near a joint, then maybe method of joints would be the best method. Um, for my final exam, you don't have to decide on your own. Uh, I, I will tell you in the problem statement whether you need to do method of sections for or method of joints. Okay.